right? And it's like, man. And then they super weight their bow because they don't necessarily understand how their eye actually works. And they use stabilizers to calm their mind. And it's just, it's, it's completely opposite of how things actually work in your mind. But when you think about the history of instruction, I mean, archery is a martial art in some in some cultures, right? Yes. In, in Japan. It is a martial yeah, art. I think of it as a martial art. But when you look at some of the, the texts that are associated with that, it's it's this blank mindedness and all this stuff. However, most of those most of those cultures use what's called a mechanoreceptive trigger. And people never knew about it, right? Why is it in Kudo archery that the tip of the arrow is so much bigger than the arrow, than the arrow shaft itself? And in those old texts, the arrow is not ready to be loosed until the point touches the knuckle, right? Mm. Those are all so mechanoreceptors. I'm sure you know this, but they're sensory receptors in your skin cells that are that give stimulus. So, like if you and I are sitting here BS, and I put my hand down on a hot stove. The mechanoreceptors in the skin cells of my hand send this to my brain. That's hot. My brain then sends the motor program that gets my hand off the stove. It's how Olympic archers shoot with a clicker, right? So they draw their arrow back, and they've got it underneath the clicker. And then as they pull the tip of the arrow out from underneath the clicker, it click against the side, side of their bow. That sound wave is picked up by the hair cell, the mechanoreceptors in the hair cells of the ear. It sends a stimulus to the brain. The brain sends the release motor program. So, you know, you'll watch them. They're expanding through it. Click, boom, they'll shoot the shot. Same in Kudo archery. Same in Bhutan, right? In Bhutan, they tie a wire underneath their arrow. They'll wrap a little piece of wire or a piece of wood on there like a toothpick that will touch their knuckle, mm. right? So there's been these these ways of doing things for millennium, right? But we all want to be more pure, right? We all want to, oh, traditional archery is just, you know, drawing back your longbow and letting it, letting it fire. Well, that's, I mean, you go to any traditional archery event and you see most people don't even get to full draw Mm. before they let it go. It's sad. 